invisibility. Now, what is the visibility? I mean, it kind of sounds like a Harry Potter thing, like invisibility cloak, but that's not what we're talking about. Divisibility has to do with factoring. Remember we talked about the, how you get the factors of certain numbers, what numbers can be divided into your number? Well, divisibility tells us which numbers are able to be divided into our number and hence become a factor. But divisibility, the cool part is there are some tips and tricks and definitely Nicolisms. Remember, Nicolisms are things that I use to make life easier in math. So I love divisibility tricks. Let me share a few with you. Let's start with a number like the number 12. So the number 12, the first test on this, well, let's just think. If I was gonna factor the number 12, how would I do it? I would think about all the numbers that go into 12. So I'd start with one. Yep, one is one of them. What about two? Does two go into 12? Yep, six times, so two is one. What about three? Does three go into 12? Yep, three goes into 12 four times, okay. What about four? Does four go into 12? Yep, it does, it goes three times. Mm, five? Nope. What about six? Yep, six goes in two times, and we're up to 12. So I had to do a lot of thinking. What if I had some quick little tests that I could run on my number 12 to, to know instantly or fairly quickly which numbers it was divisible by. Well, I want to share those tests with you today. So there are a few tests that we can run on our numbers to see if they are divisible by certain specific numbers. That will just help you out when it's time to find factors of numbers. Let's take a look. The last digit test. So we're gonna look at the last digit of our number. And if the last digit of our number is even, meaning it ends in zero, two, four, six, or eight, then that number is divisible by two. Let's try it out on a few numbers. So 12, is 12 an even number? Yes, it is. That means it's divisible by two. Two divided into 12 is six. So any even number is divisible by two. What about 15? Is that even? No, it's not. So it's not divisible by two. What about 20? Is 20 even? Yes, it is, which means it's divisible by two. How many times? Ah, two goes into here, 10 times. So that's just an easy test to help make your life easier, which I'm all about. What about the numbers zero and five? When your number ends in zero or five, it means that your number is divisible by five. Let's test it out. So, does the number 12 end in zero or five? Nope, and guess what? Not divisible by five. Five can't go into 12 equally. What about 15, does it end in five or zero? Yes, it does. That means that five can go into 15. Five is divisible, or 15 is divisible by five. It goes in three times. What about the number 20? It ends in a zero. That means that 20 is divisible by five. How many times? It goes in four times. Let's give you one more tip and trick. If your number ends in the number zero, that means that it is divisible by 10. Let's take a look. Does 12 end in zero? Nope, not divisible by 10. 15 end in zero? Nope, not divisible by 10. Does 20 end in zero? Yes, it does, which means it's divisible by 10. How many times? 10 goes into 20, two times. So those are just some last digit tests that help you understand quickly what numbers are divisible or what your numbers are divisible by. And that just makes factoring so much easier. Let's give you another test. This one's called the sum of digits test. Here's what it means. If you take your digits of your number and you add them together, and if that total is divisible, let's start with three. If it's divisible by three, then it means that your number is divisible by three too. Let's take a look at an example. Let's start with the number 15. Let's add the digits together. Five plus one equals six. Is six divisible by three? Yes, it is. It goes in two times. That means, let's start with the number 15. 
is also divisible by three. That's what we mean by the sum of digits test for three. Let's try a few more examples. 20, add the digits together. Two plus zero is two. Is that divisible by three? No, two is not divisible by three. So 20 is not divisible by three. Let's keep going. Five plus four is nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes, it is. So 54 is also divisible by three. Let's try 81. Eight plus one is nine. That's divisible by three, so it means 81 is divisible by three. There's one other test. We have one for nine. Same thing. If we add the digits together and that number is divisible by nine, then your number is divisible by nine. Let's try it. Five plus one is six. Is nine divisible by six? Nope. Can't divide nine into six, so 15 is not divisible by nine. What about 20? Two plus zero, two. Is that, can that nine go into that? Nope, doesn't work. 54, five plus four is nine. Ah, so that 54 is divisible by nine because these digits are div divisible by nine and when added together. What about 81? Eight plus one is nine. Does nine go into nine? Yes, it does. So 81 is divisible by nine. Let's put it all together now. We have a number, 135. Let's perform our divisibility test on the number 135 to see which of these numbers are factors of 135. Here we go. So 135, is two a factor? Well, is it even? Nope. So two is not a factor of 135. What about three? We add the digits together. Three plus one is four. Four plus five is nine. 9, yep, 3 goes into 9, so 3 is a factor of 135. What about 5? Does it end in a 5 or a 0? 135 does end in a 5 or a 0, so 5 is a factor of 135. What about 9? Remember, we add the digits together and see if that total is divisible by 9. We said it's four plus five is nine. Yes, nine can be divided into nine, so that means that nine is a factor of 135. And what about 10? It has to end in a zero. 135 does not, so it is not divisible by 10. 10 is not a factor. So the good news about this is this will just make your life a little bit easier when it comes to finding factors because you can perform these quick tests two, five, 10, three, and nine, that'll make your life go so much easier. That's it for today. Hope that made sense. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.